Yes, sir. I understand. N no, I... I wasn't trying to imply that, sir. <sighs> of course. Yes, I'll have those reports on your desk first thing Monday morning. No, that won't be a pro... I see. All right. Have a good weekend, sir. <sighs> Unbelievable. The nerve of that man. Ah. <sighs> what a day. I swear, if I have to listen to one more condescending lecture from that ugly, pompous windbag, I swear, I'll... What the... Babe. Babe. Are you awake? <laughs> I can see you trying not to smile. I know you're not really asleep. Hey there, sleepyhead. What are you doing in bed so early? It's only... <sighs> wow. I guess it is pretty late. I didn't realize how long that call went. Hold on a second. Is that... Are you wearing my hoodie? What? Uh, oh, my boss. Yeah, he was being his usual charming self. <laughs> you know how he is. But never mind that. Why are you wearing my hoodie? <sighs> You're right. He shouldn't talk to me like that. It's so fucking annoying. I work my tail off for that company. And all I get in return is just more demands and passive-aggressive comments. But seriously. What's with the hoodie? Not that I mind, it's just... <sighs> Honestly, I, I don't even know where to start. It's like... It's like nothing I do... Is ever good enough for him. I stayed late every day this week to finish those reports. And now he wants me to redo them all. Because he changed his mind about the format. I mean, who does that? And don't even get me started on the way he talks to everybody. It's like, he thinks being the boss gives him the right to treat people like dirt. Half of the office is afraid to even look at him wrong. I just... <sighs> Honestly, babe, Tiger, I, I don't know how much longer I can take it, you know? I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't dump all this on you as soon as I walk in the door. It's just been a really, really rough week. I don't know. I've been there for so long, and, and the benefits are good. Plus, in this economy, finding a new job, it's not exactly easy. <sighs> You're right, I suppose. It couldn't hurt to at least look around and see what's out there. Maybe I need to update my resume. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe there's some dream job just waiting for me to find it. But babe, it's... <sighs> Tiger, it's just... I've put so much into this job, you know? All those late nights, missed weekends, canceled plans. Part of me feels like if I leave now, it would have all been for nothing. <sighs> You always know just what to say to make me feel better. What would I do without you? <sighs> but it's not just about me, you know? This job, as much as I hate to admit it, it's what allows us to live the life that we have. The house, the car, 
our little getaways. I don't know if I can risk losing all of that. And what about our plans for the future? Starting a family isn't cheap. And I want to be able to provide that the best, at least, that I can for our kids. I don't want them to ever have to worry about money the way I did growing up. I know, I know. We're a team. It's just... I feel this pressure, you know? To be the provider, to make sure everything's taken care of. Look, I know it's old-fashioned, but I can't help it. This is just what I've got to work with. Sometimes I think that's why I put up with my boss's nonsense. Every time I'm just about to snap. I mean, I am right there ready to just punch this guy in the face. Every single time I get to that point. I think about you. About our future family. It helps me bite my tongue even when I really don't want to. Thank you, Tiger. That means a lot to hear, you know? I guess I've been so focused on the financial side of things, I put aside the emotional toll. But you're absolutely right. Being miserable at work isn't good for anyone, especially not our future family. Maybe I should start looking around. Not necessarily to jump ship right away, but just to see what's out there. Who knows? There's a company out there that values work-life balance and doesn't have to, you know, have a boss made from hell. Imagine that. Coming home at a reasonable hour, not having to check my emails constantly, actually being able to take a vacation without worrying about work piling up. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Don't get too excited, miss. I haven't found a new job yet, but I promise I'll start looking. For real this time. Now, finally, can we get to the problem at hand? God, you are a master of changing topics. Oh, come on, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That hoodie. Uh, 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 you did not just shush me. Okay, so we're not going to talk about it? Huh? Is that is that your big plan? <laughs> all right, all right. I can take a hint, I guess. God. You know what? I'm actually pretty beat. Is it okay if I join you for a bit? <sighs> when I saw you in that hoodie, I wasn't going to make a big deal about it, but it's the first time you've actually worn my clothes. And I just wanted to say, you look really cute. Like so, so fucking cute. I wish I could come home and find you in my clothes more often. Well, I mean, even if you weren't wearing them. <laughs> no, I don't mean anything by that. What? No. What was that? I didn't I didn't quite catch it. Mm, I see. You're teasing me again. Fine. You don't have to tell me what you wanted to say. I'm sure I'll get it out of you eventually. No, I don't want to sleep just yet, but is it okay if I hold you? <sighs> I told you before, but honestly, you're the only thing on this planet that keeps me sane. Life is too short to be miserable at work, right? I mean, who knows? 
Maybe I could even find something that'll let me work from home. Spend more time with you like this. <laughs> I like that idea. We'll talk more about it tomorrow. I think right now I just want to take it all in. You, obviously. I told you, you look really cute in my hoodie. Maybe you should keep it. <laughs> I love you. Even if you are my little hoodie thief. Thank you for always being here for me. I don't know what I would do without you, Tiger. <laughs>